salutations friends welcome back to my channel we're filming in my bathroom it's the lighting is poor the sun's gonna be superb but today i wanted to go into my skincare video i'm gonna do this in two parts um and maybe three parts depending i'm gonna go into my nightly skincare routine my morning skincare routine and probably when i film my morning skincare routine i'm gonna touch a little bit on if i do a midday skincare routine um and that's just like if I come home early and I take off my face because I'm not going to be doing anything for a few more hours. Um, but right now I'm going to be talking about my um, nighttime skincare routine. I'm going to be going in all the products, giving you the reasons why I love them, if I think they're good for you, um, if I would recommend them to other people. So this is going to be a long video, just keep that in mind. But if you want to see and know about my nightly skincare routine and the products that I use, keep watching. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be long because I use different products depending on if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I'm going to get into everything. So again, this is gonna be a long video. Grab a snack, grab a drink, maybe take a nap. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna start off with the first thing that I do, which is if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, I will take off my makeup with a makeup remover. Currently, I'm using the one from Sephora. This is the waterproof eye makeup remover. I really love this. I also love the one from Lancome. Both of these are very gentle, they don't sting my eyes, they don't cause any irritation, and they do a fantastic job of removing stubborn eyeliner and mascara. I also use it to remove any brow products that I use. So I do love this. After I remove my eye makeup, I will go into a, my first cleanse. Now real quick, if I'm not wearing any um, mascara, if it's just a natural makeup day where I maybe just put on a little bit of concealer and like, you know, like a little bit of bronzer, nothing too crazy. Instead of going in with the eye makeup remover, I will just go in with my micellar water. I am using the one from La Mer, the new La Mer micellar water. I absolutely love this. So depending on if I'm wearing a lot of makeup or minimal to no makeup, these are what I would use to remove what's on my face. And then we go to the first cleanse. Now the first cleanse, I like it to just get off any remaining makeup. Because I wear such a heavy face of makeup, I just like to make sure I get it all off. So I will go in with the Clarins. This is the cleansing milk with Alpine herbs. Also real quick, let me grab it. I am using through my Tatcha uh, Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. I really like this, but I have been loving this. So when this is empty, I'm probably going to take a little break from this for a while and just use this specifically. But these are the two cleansers that I use at night for my first cleanse. Second cleanse is when I go in with my tool. This is my Clarisonic. This is the Smart Profiler, and I use the Smart Head. Um, what this does is this goes in one way and this goes a little bit, I'm trying to describe it the best I can, this goes a little bit um, more intense when you use it on your forehead and your chin and nose area. Um, so the first beep you go here, second beep you go here, and then it gets more gentler when you do the sides of your cheeks. I absolutely love this guy. I would definitely recommend any of the Clarisonics. Um, either the Mia 2 or the Smart, Pro Smart Profiler I think are the best. Love, love, love this. So if I'm having a very intense breakout, hormonal breakout issue with skin, just like it being very sensitive, I have been using the Murad Clarifying Cleanser. This is the acne one. This has a 1.5% salicylic acid acne treatment, which is fantastic for my skin. I really do like this. Generally though, if I'm not having a breakout, my everyday cleanser for my second cleanse at night is the La Mer, the cleansing gel. I love this cleanser. This leaves my skin feeling refreshed. It gives me a really deep clean and I love the lather that it gets when you use it with this. I also like that you don't have to use a lot of this. Um, if you see this, I had this bottle for about five months now and I use it almost every night. I only use the tiniest pump on here and it gives me enough lather for my entire face. So although this is on the pricey side, it is something that will last you a very long time. 
So that would be my second cleanse. After I do my second cleanse, I go in with my nightly toner. I use the SK2 toner in the morning. I'll go more into that when I do my morning skincare routine. At night, I just like something very soothing because I am putting a lot of product on my face. Um, and I've really been loving this one. This is from Dioprost Total Solution. This is their green tea um, toner. I got this from a Korean beauty skincare subscription box. I absolutely love it. Another one I use um, is the Benton BHA Aloe Vera um, toner. I love that for the night as well. After I tone and then depending on how my skin feels, I will exfoliate. Now in the morning I tend to do more of a sugar scrub, more of a physical exfoliation. At night, I like to do more of a chemical exfoliation. And I've been using these from Peter Thomas Roth. These are the Unwrinkle Peel Pads. I love this because this has salicylic acid in it. And that's just one of the ingredients that really works well for my skin. So I do this about two to three nights a week and I've been seeing fantastic results. After this, and I rinse it off, I go in with this little guy right here. This is another um, Korean product from Coes RX. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the BHA Summer Pore Minish Serum. I love this. What I'll do is I will shake it up like this, and then I will just put three or four little pumps on a cotton pad and just wipe it all over my face. It's really great. I've seen a lot of fantastic results. My pores have been getting a lot smaller, and it's really refreshing. After this has dried and absorbed, I go in with my treatment lotion, and I'm using the one from La Mer, the treatment lotion. I like to use this before I use my essence and any of my other treatments because this really helps my serums and my creams just work better. I've seen a huge improvement in my skin when I started using this. So I would definitely recommend getting a treatment lotion. I know Shiseido has them. I think um, SK2 has them. You can get them from like lower end, I don't want to say lower end brands, like more inexpensive brands. I don't mean lower end, more inexpensive brands. Just find something that's really going to fit in with your routine. Because I use a lot of La Mer, I like having as much La Mer um, in my skincare routine as possible, so that's why I stuck with this. After this has been absorbed, I go in with one of my Holy Grail products, which is my SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I love this. I put about two to three drops on my hands, I warm it up on my palms, and I just dab it all over my face. I have smoother skin, softer skin, and when I started using this, the texture on my skin get a lot better. Diminished, everything was looking smooth and nice. So this is one of my Holy Grail products and I absolutely love it. Okay, now we're going into treatments. Now I have one of these is actually a sample that I've got so much of the sample of that I've just been using it and using it and using it. And when I run out, I'm going to buy it. Um, so I'm gonna tell you about that. Um, and then I'm gonna tell you about the other um, treatment that I use in the night only and then the other one I use morning and night. So. The first thing I wanted to talk about is this from SK2. This is the Genoptics Aura Essence. When I was looking and deciding which one or two um, essences or serums that I wanted to use from SK2, I was really looking into the RNA one, which is in the red bottle. I believe that's the one that it's called. And I decided I wanted to go with this one. This one is supposed to be really good for brightening your complexion, making it look more clear and illuminating. I also love the way this made my skin feel. So I ended up getting this one. The other one that I use just at night, which I think is a fantastic anti-aging. Oh, excuse me, sitting here hurts my back. Mm. <laughs> um, is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I think this is a fantastic anti-aging serum to have in your skincare routine for just about anyone at any age. If you're looking at starting to adding in anti-aging skincare to your routine and you're in your early 20s, early uh, late 20s, early 30s, this is a fantastic one to start off with. Definitely it's gonna be preventative and like help keep your skin looking youthful. Um, and I absolutely love it. So this is one of my night, I only use this at night. I use this guy in the morning at night. 
Now the one that I got the samples of is probably very pricey. In fact, I know it's very pricey. I'm gonna show you the deluxe sample I have of it. And this is the La Mer de Genesance, um, the serum essence. This serum has the highest concentration of Miracle Broth in any product that La Mer carries. It is unbelievable. Now I have two little guys right here and actually when I asked for a sample, she gave me five of these and this, which is a lot considering this is very expensive. But I've been using through these little guys and then I'm gonna move to that. I use this morning and night. I put the tiniest amount on my face, but oh my gosh, I saw the biggest difference ever. I noticed when I didn't use this, my skin looked 50 times better. It was smooth, it was supple, my fine lines were disappearing, I looked like I was de-aging, it was incredible. So this is definitely on the pricier end from La Mer, which is saying something, but this is something I'm going to be purchasing when I run out. It is phenomenal. And I will probably do a more full comprehensive review on this product once I run out of the samples and I actually buy the entire jar because I want to be able to give you the best review for this and because it is so expensive I want to have used it for at least two to three months to give you a really good review on it so do look for that in the future after I put on my serums and I let everything soak in, I like to go in with an eye cream. I have so many samples of eye cream, I haven't bought any yet. But one of the samples I've been loving is from Caudalie. This is the Premier Crew, the eye cream. I actually have two more of these um, in this size and it's lasting me a decent while. And I'm really, really loving this. The other samples I have are the balms from La Mer, which I haven't gotten into using yet because I wanted to use through one of these first. And once my eye cream um, absorbs into my skin, then I go into more hydration before my moisturizer. And the product I have been loving is from Sunday Riley. It's the Tidal Cream. This is a brightening enzyme water cream. This is what I got instead of getting another hyaluronic acid serum because this has a little bit more to it, but this also has hyaluronic acid in it, which I love. So this is the Tide of Delivers, an intense water drench with two forms of hyaluronic acid and tamarind extract. While papain enzymes smooth and exfoliate, arbutin and exotic floral extracts brighten hyperpigmentation and illuminate from within. I sampled this and I fell in love. Now you guys know I'm not the hugest fan of the Luna oil. I know a lot of people love it and it's holy grail for a lot of people. It just didn't work well for me. This is so close to Holy Grail status, it's ridiculous. So I love this. After I put this on, I'm having any issues with my skin, if it's sensitive, if it's tender, if it's just like having like redness or soreness, I will spot treat those areas with the Tatcha um, Indigo Soothing Triple Recovery Cream. So say my nose is sensitive, maybe I have a patch over here that's red and sore. I'll just put some of this over it. Last and certainly not least is my creme de la mer. I like to keep it in its box. This again is the two ounce um, little guy. I'm gonna show you how much I have. I've been using this for over six months. Look, I'm not even halfway through the jar. You don't need that much. After all of my skincare has been absorbed in between each step, so in between treatments to enzymes, I like to wait a few minutes to let everything absorb. After everything is absorbed, I will put this on my skin and just let it set and then that's it. That's my skin and it feels so good. I love the original Creme de la Mer for evening because it's so rich and it sits on the skin nicely. And it's not heavy in a way that'll make you break out. It's heavy in a way that's really going to pamper your skin and you're gonna wake up with beautiful, soft, supple skin and your skin's just gonna look the best that it can be. That's why I love this stuff. I did an entire review on this product and a few other products that I mentioned in this video. If I have any of the reviews of these guys, I will link them below. But I do love the Creme de la Mer. That's it. That's my nightly skincare routine. Also keep in mind, um, between cleansing and uh, between exfoliation and essences, sometimes I will do masks. So I'll do charcoal masks, I'll do sheet masks, and I might also do like eye masks or just kind of like cooling masks. So that's usually when I will do those. 
But if you guys have any questions on any of the products or you want a review on anything that is not, I have not done a review on, let me know below. I'll be more than happy to do it. If you have any recommendations on any products for me based on what I have recommendations. Any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It's free, I'm free, and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever, and I'll see you next time. Bye.